वॉच दिस मोदी गवर्नमेंट का बिगेस्ट फाइनेंशियल ब्लैंडर रुपीज वन पॉइंट फाइव ट्रिलियन का सोवरिन गोल्ड बॉन्ड डेट और इसका बिल भरना पड़ेगा हम टैक्स पेयर्स को There are two ways to look at this. First is to calculate the loss on bonds. There are about 125 tons of outstanding bonds and these bonds were issued at 65,800 crores. Gold bonds carry only 2.5% interest rate. Now the government deposits the interest rate savings into gold reserves every year. That is 9000 crore. So if the government were to redeem all bonds at current gold prices, they would have to pay For 125 tons, 1 lakh 57 thousand crores, minus the money raised and the interest rate savings, that would give a loss of 84 thousand crores, not 1.5 trillion as this influencer said. The other way to look at it is, as government started issuing gold bonds, RBI started buying physical gold. After a gap of 10 years in 2017, they have added 320 tons of gold. on which at current market price they have made a profit of 242000 crores that means the indian state has made a profit of 1.58 trillion rupees on their additional gold exposure since they introduced gold bonds to conclude on the gold bonds the indian state stands to lose 84000 crores on the additional gold bought they stand to make a profit of 242000 crores Nowhere is the 1.5 trillion loss amount quoted by influencers true.